about a week or two ago, a friend of mine reached out on Twitter, had posted on his page and said that he uh, had some of these games that he wanted to go to a good home for free. So I messaged him, you know, but I didn't want to take him for free. I didn't think that was the right thing to do. So I offered him a trade and I had sent him two really good games um, in exchange for all of this. It was a really awesome trade. Uh, but anyway, I'll show you what I got on that trade deal. The first one here from the trade package was a PS2 Japanese um, PS2 game. And I think it's a Dynasty Warriors game, if I remember. Um, I'm not 100%. Uh, he told me, and I do have it, I just it's slipping my mind right now. But it's actually really cool for a Japanese, uh, you know, PS2 game. So that's really cool. But uh, yeah. So the next game here is another uh, Japanese PS2 game. Whoop. And that is Dokapon DX, I believe. It's a part of the Dokapon series, if anybody, you know, I know there's fans out there. Uh, but yeah, this is the Japanese version, which I thought was pretty cool. So when I get a Japanese PS2, I'll be able to play it. Or, you know, I bet there's ways around it using a regular PS2 also. But uh, yeah, that's pretty stellar. The artwork, like just the Japanese writing alone, like I just think it's freaking stellar just by looking at that. Like, just really cool. But uh, yeah. The next game that I got was uh, Metal, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater on the PS2. Uh, North American, uh, you know, uh, version. Uh, regular PS2 version. So that's really cool. I did not have this. Uh, this, I actually had posted on Twitter saying that I needed just the disc-only copy uh, for uh, several games for the Xbox. And he reached out and said that he was going to toss this in. Because he had the disc if I needed it. And that was uh, for Halo. I actually had the um, cover and the art and everything. Or, you know, like the manual and everything. I just needed the disc. And he reached out and he gave it to me. And that was for Halo. The original Halo. Which was really awesome. Thanks again, buddy. The next game here is for the Xbox One. And that is Forza 5. Day 1 edition, I believe. Yeah. Day one edition for the five. Did not have this. Big fan of racing games. A lot of them are super, super good. The next game in the trade package was Grand Theft Auto V. I have this on 360, I believe, I think. Um, but I did not have it on Xbox One, so that's really cool. Everybody knows Grand Theft Auto. They're all a ton of fun. Um, the next game here was Forza Motorsport 6, the 10-year anniversary edition. And this is an Xbox One exclusive, so that's really neat. I'm a huge Xbox fan, as you guys know. And the last game in the package, the trade package, was the Crew Ultimate Edition, which was also really cool. I did not have this as well. So uh, thanks again for the trade, buddy. I really appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying what I sent you as well. So now I'm going to go into my Amazon pickups. Uh, this is probably over the last month or so, maybe a um, couple weeks. Just haven't done a pickup video for it yet. I wanted to get everything together for one video. Um, I actually went online to find the game, but the prices are all over the place and it's not for a full big box copy. They're usually either loose disc or only case and game only. And it's, they're asking too much online, but I did get the manual for it, the strategy guide. And it's for one of my favorite PC games of all time. Um, some of you know that I talked about it, and that's for Myth 2 Soul Blighter. Absolutely love this game. Uh, I was a big, not only Blizzard fan, but I was a huge Bungie fan back in the day when I, um, when I was younger. You know, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, playing PC, big box PC games. And the Myth series is just so awesome. So if anyone actually has, <laughs> I'm going to reach out. If anyone actually has any three of the games... Um, Preferably the big box copy if you don't, even if it's like complete uh, copy of just the game. Reach out to me. I'm willing to do a trade or, um, you know, do something for it. Because I do not want to pay what they have online. I think it's just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I got the strategy guide. The next game here, I'm actually, I actually currently have it in my 3DS and I'm having a heck of a time with it. It's a great game. And that's um, a Square Enix title. And that's Heroes of Ruin. This is a dungeon crawler, you know, um, hack and slash, action RPG. Um, 
So it's really good. Like, I'm really enjoying it. Um, the characters aren't really memorable, um, for that matter. But where it lacks in that, it really makes up for, like, the gameplay and stuff. Um, super stellar game. Highly recommend it. The next, uh, I believe the next three, uh, two, I'm sorry, were some additions to my OG Xbox collection, because I'm trying to boost that up, and I am a huge fan of the Forgotten Realms, you know, D&D series of video games, and I had to pick up Demon Stone, never played it, seen gameplay on it, looked amazing. I believe Nate, I think, from the Game Shack, I believe you picked this up at one point in time, I think. If it wasn't you, I know somebody else had, but uh, yeah. So yeah, awesome game. Cannot wait. I plan on playing this. Maybe do a playthrough on the channel. Um, definitely do a review on the channel here soon. Uh, as soon as I'm able to play through it. Awesome game. The next game is also an Xbox One or Xbox original game. And that's Sudeki. Saw gameplay on this too. Also intrigued my interest. Um, looked really cool. You know, um, the same kind of adventure. Like, you know, swords, uh, magic, um... You know, just mystical type stuff. Absolutely love it. You know, that's my genre. Everybody knows that by now. Uh, but yeah, stellar game. Happy to have it. The last game for my Amazon pickups was a game that I'm also playing besides the 3DS game. Um, and that is an Xbox One game, and that's Children of Morta. I've been posting this on my face or uh, my Twitter, I'm sorry, uh, quite a bit lately. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. It is a roguelike um action rpg dungeon crawler um it's like somewhat 8-bit some but some way is like 16-bit i guess um the art style is just absolutely beautiful you play as this family that um that's your like guild basically like all your um like character classes whether it's your heavy-handed or your archers or whatever um it's uh, you're all family members there's a dad a daughter a son you know and all that um but I've been having a lot of fun with it. The um, roguelike elements are, like, different. Um, instead of, you know, like, losing perks or stuff every round you go, like, if you die or whatever. Like, you don't lose anything. It just continues the story on a different kind of, like, path type deal. Like, they add, like, every time you die, you go back to your hub, which is your, you know, your home, your hub. But uh, it goes back and it progresses the story in a different way that would have happened if you succeeded in that dungeon. You know what I mean? So they progress the story regardless. Um, so it's a really different type of uh, like roguelike. But uh, yeah, having a lot of fun with it. So my last pickups here are actually all from Walmart. And um, two different trips, you know, uh, within the last week or so. Two different Walmarts. Uh, but the first one I actually got on Walmart.com. And I did not know that they actually had this series at all. And I wanted to read through it because I'm a huge Diablo fan. And it was the Diablo The Sin War Trilogy. And I've got book one to start with. It was really awesome. Um, I haven't started it yet. I cannot wait to start it. Right up my alley. You guys know I'm a huge Diablo fan. My next pickup is actually because of my friend here on YouTube, uh, GamingGuy88. If you're not subscribed to him, go ahead and flock to his channel. Subscribe to him. He is such a stellar guy. Um, does a lot of overviews and, um, you know, goes through consoles and different things and, um, just tells you a little bit of history about it and everything. Really stellar stand-up guy. But he had actually posted on his Twitter, I believe, at first, and then I think he, I believe he also has a video. I'm pretty sure I watched a video on this, too. But anyway, I definitely know that I saw this on Twitter, and it was a controller that he had got, and I didn't even know this was out, and it's the Electric Volt. This is an absolutely beautiful controller. Like, I love that yellow, that green, you know, that, like, Xbox green, like, I don't know, it's, like, fluorescent green. Uh, but it's also, like, got this white skin back. I haven't unboxed it yet. Um, but it's an absolutely beautiful controller, you know. It's got the um, modern directional pad, and it's optimized for the Xbox One Series S and Series X, but it also works on Xbox One still, so that's really stellar. And it's just a beautiful controller, and I was so excited to see this when uh, he had it posted. So thanks for the heads up there, buddy. <clears throat> the next games that I'm about to show you was actually on a liquidation sale, I believe. And I've been telling people about this on my Twitter also and trying to reach out to friends, you know, to check your Walmarts. 
because all of their 3DS games, I think they're getting rid of them, if I'm not mistaken, and they're marking everything down to $10 for, and I'm talking, like, grade A, like, first-party Nintendo um, games. Um, but, yeah, so check your local Walmart, because, like, I scored pretty decent. And uh, the first one I got here was from my local, like, in-town Walmart, and the only one they have had, um, because I bet they were already picked over, and I had the last copy, and it was Super Mario 3D Land. I did not have this already, so this made me really excited to see. And for 10 bucks, I'm never going to say no to a first-party Nintendo game sealed for $10. Especially on the 3DS. Beautiful console. <clears throat> the next game, I had played Mario Maker, but I had never played the uh, mobile version. Um, the handheld version, I'm sorry, on the 3DS. And that's what I got. That's the next pickup here. And, you know, I actually think that this would be freaking stellar handheld, handheld mode. I mean, I know it's great on console, but, like, creating-wise, I think it'd be better, like, if you were up, you know, like, with, with a smaller um, handheld in your hand. I love the Switch, but, like, in handheld mode, like, having that whole thing like that, I can't stand it. I always play on console mode. It's way too bulky for me, in my opinion. Uh, but, yeah, I think this would be really cool. I know that this doesn't support the online mode anymore, I believe. But uh, yeah, I could you know you can still make levels um, locally and play them, so really freaking cool. <clears throat> the next game here was actually another game I had never played on handheld, and that's uh, Super Smash Brothers. So you know, it's Super Smash Bros. Um, the Amiibos work on this game as well, which I think is really cool. Um, I played Smash Bros. Obviously, and I played Sm Smash Bros. for the Wii U, and I played Smash Bros. You know, the updated ones. And, you know, the whole way back to the 64, I played every, you know, um, Melee, all of them. Every single one in the series. But it's going to be really cool to try this on a handheld and see how it works. <clears throat> the next game here was actually absolutely stellar. Because uh, I'm not a huge... I know I'm going to get shot, but I'm not a huge fan of Zelda. But one of the ones I did like was Majora's Mask. But I am not a fan of the one-stick... N64 controller for adventure games that much. Um, it works for FPS and all that stuff, but in my opinion, like if you're doing like an adventure game, it doesn't work. So having this on 3DS, having it remade, you know, remastered, gonna be really cool to see how it works on handheld. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to play through this. Now I just need to get a link between worlds, I believe. Um, but yeah, the last $10 um, deal from Walmart was uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I am going to get shot because I had played the original for very short, but I hadn't played any of the other series. I know all about them, you know, I know the game. And I have played the awesome cab that they have, the sit-down cab, if you guys know I'm talking about, that's in arcades. And I played it at Dave & Buster's like two, three years ago or something like that. Really awesome um, cabinet, though. And that would be awesome to have in your in your like man cave, wouldn't it? But uh, yeah, this was really cool to have, so uh, yeah. Some really good deals. Remember, check your Walmart because they're liquidating them. The next items, I don't remember the prices of each and every one, but I know most of them were between five to ten dollars a piece because they were like they had them on you know like a like an end cap with on discounted games, PC games, like some strat guides were there. It was just you know just odds and ends from the store. Um, and the first one was Anthem, and I believe this one was five. I heard good things and bad things. I know that you have to... I know it's online only, I believe. Um, but I'm willing to try it out. I'm almost positive, you know, people still play this and everything. If you do, let me know. I'm not huge on, like, the online multiplayer. But for $5, why not? The next game I thought was really cool. And it was was <laughs> sealed. Um, but as you can see, like, that seal got messed up on the shelf. So that's pretty much why I got it. And I think they actually marked money off because of it. And that was uh, Pac-Man Championship Edition. A, or Championship Edition 2. Plus our, the arcade game series, which has Galaga, Pac-Man, and Dig Dug. Classic Pac-Man, you know, type um, games. Dig Dug, uh, Galaga. Always good on every console, no matter what version. There's always going to be a version to come out. And I believe this was 5 as well. So it was really awesome. The next game I actually had got a week ago, and this was at my um, local Walmart again, and I heard such good things. I need to play through the whole series, but they had this for a good deal, 
And I know people were talking about it, and I'm going to slowly get the games in so I can start the series. And I know some of them you can play, like, at any point in the series, and it's still okay. But that uh, the game that I got was uh, Persona 5 Strikers. I know that there's a lot of people that had played this um, off the top of my head. I think the Devil May Pie had played through this, I heard talking about. I know my buddy Hallowed Be Thy Game played it. Um, I think Fem Trooper had played through this one. I know she's currently playing through one of them. And I think it might be Royals. I'm not 100%. Um, but uh, yeah, so I know a whole bunch of people love this series. So I wanted to get into it. So I got a copy of Strikers. And the last game that I have for you guys in my pickup video was one that I didn't have, but I had played a long time ago. And I got it in my collection now, and it says here that it's optimized for the Series S, or the Series X, I'm sorry. And obviously I can play it on Xbox One because it's one of the backwards compatible games, and that's Sonic Unleashed. Absolutely stellar game. I love this game. I thought it was a good entry in the Sonic series. Um, and you know me, Sega Blocks, it's got that magic label right there, so I gotta have it, right? Uh, but yeah, happy to have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Those are my pickups for this time around. You know the drill. Like the video. Leave me your comments down below. Let me know what you think of my pickups. And thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome.